Good morning, family. I hope that everyone is having a great weekend. And I came across this story and I'm in shock. I do a lot of different topics. Um, And when I read this, I was in complete awe. Because I can't imagine someone doing this. To anyone, let alone a person in a vegetative state. So a woman in a vegetative state who gave birth in facility had likely been pregnant multiple times. Hmm. A court filing by the family of a woman who gave birth while in a long-term vegetative condition in Arizona nursing facility states that according to doctors who examined her, the woman had likely been pregnant before. People obtained a copy of the notice of claim filed late Wednesday against the state of Arizona proposing a $45 million settlement to a civil lawsuit that relatives of the victim, who was 29 at the time of her child's birth last November, and has been identified as Native Native American woman, are preparing. The filing says doctors at the Maricopa County Medical Center who examined the victim after the baby was born believe her pregnancy was likely a repeat event meaning it's likely she had been pregnant previously the notice of the claim also cites the findings of dr sharon cooper who said the woman had significant scarring in her private area which according to Cooper is evidence she was likely violently sexually assaulted and violated on multiple occasions. The filing states the victim experienced severe physical and emotional trauma as a result of likely months, if not years, of repeated violent rape and assault. Nathan, 37, a nurse at the Phoenix-based healthcare long-term facility, was arrested earlier this year and has pleaded not guilty to one count of a sexual assault and one count of vulnerable adult abuse. His attorney has not responded. No comment. Although the victim could not ask for help or verbalize her fear, in all probability, she would have recognized the body odor and voice of her assailant each time he was in her room, which likely caused her severe emotional distress and fear. She was going to be sexually violated again, the filing state. The filing alleges the facility didn't give the woman this facility didn't give the woman any medication to ease the pain of the pregnancy or delivery and further states she had the ability to perceive her surroundings those around her and to experience pain and discomfort it's alleged that despite at least 83 opportunities medical staff at this health care and their workers misdiagnosed her pregnancy despite ample evidence, including that she did not menstruate in the months leading up to the birth. Staffers noticed a large and hard mass in her abdomen on three occasions, that her stomach was characterized as distended. During 24 examinations, and that nurses checking on her noted her private parts appeared swollen. 
Due to their alleged failure to notice her pregnancy, staff allegedly prescribed laxatives for the mass in her stomach and reduced her calorie intake in response to her weight gain. The victim at the facility since she was a toddler. So she's been there since she was a toddler. Lacks sufficient understanding and mental capacity to make decisions or give consent for her medical condition, placement, or financial estate. 